As a kid, I always dreamed of, uh, you know, playing for your, your country and um, wearing that Team Canada jersey. When I was young, it was a dream for me to play for Hockey Canada at uh, World Junior. We take so much pride in and we expect so much of our boys and the best hockey they play in their career. So you watch what they do and it's pretty special. There's something special putting the Team Canada jersey on. It's our sport in Canada. Uh, it's what we grew up watching and being a part of, whether you're a fan, whether you're involved in it. For players, you put the jersey on. Same thing for coaches, when you're around it. It's such a big pride factor to be involved in Hockey Canada. After the summer showcase in Kamloops, players returned to their Canadian Hockey League and college teams with the hopes of being invited to Hockey Canada's National Junior Team Selection Camp in December, while other players had their sights set on making the jump to the NHL. My goal is really to focus on, you know, having a strong outing in, uh, at the Canucks main camp and putting a good foot forward there and then hopefully, you know, have a really strong first half and, and build up and hopefully make Team Canada. Chuck and Alex Formerton will both be in the lab tonight as Ottawa finishes off its preseason hosting the Montreal Canadiens. The two 19-year-olds have been told they will stay with the Ottawa Senators when they begin the regular season on October the 4th. The two have been very impressive so far throughout camp and are among the 13 forwards that Ottawa has decided to keep to begin the season. Yeah, I mean, it was disappointing not to stick in the NHL for, for a full season, but I feel like they gave me a great opportunity and good taste of the NHL and definitely that experience will help me prepare to try and make the jump next year. It's disappointing but on the other hand I was excited to come back to London where a place where I've played for the past two years and you know London is such a great organization and have such a successful history in the past and you know seeing all those players that go through this program and end up uh, with a successful career in the NHL was, is something incredible and sold out almost 9,000 every night. <laughs> also get to play with some amazing players like Liam Foody and Evan Bouchard. Hopefully having Liam and Evan play on the team with me would be um, something pretty incredible, you know, I, I know Evan, one of my closest friends on the team there and is a great leader, so, um, you know, having that leadership on, on Team Canada would be, would be pretty special. Après le camp d'été avec Hockey Canada, euh, je me suis concentré à, sur mon, mon camp d'entraînement avec les Ducks. Euh, C'était un peu in, intimidant, mais par la suite, les vétérans ont fait un, un bon travail de, de, de nous aider. Puis, je pense qu'au bout du compte, j'ai fait un bon travail Puis c'est pour ça que j'ai resté, resté là-bas. Getting the, the taste of the NHL makes me uh, want to work harder to, to stick longer next year. When I got the memo that I was getting sent down, uh, but uh, being here in Drummondville uh, with a really good team, we have a chance to win, so it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's nice, we have a lot of support from the fans, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fun to, to come back here and play uh, one final year. I also get to play with uh, Joe Valeno and Nick Baudin, uh, two amazing players for our team, a big part of our, of our success here. In a few days, we're going to leave for a selection camp in Victoria, and uh, playing with them at, uh, at, at the camp is going to be pretty nice. Uh, we're going to be uh, competing and pushing each other to, to make the team, and uh, hopefully we get to play in the tournament together. championships. We're also celebrating a very special occasion. 
Uh, BC Hockey is turning 100 years old. Does anyone know where the World Junior Hockey Championships are going to be this year? Over there. Vancouver and Victoria, that's right. So we're at uh, Black Mountain Elementary School in Kelowna and uh, one of the stops on our 100-year uh, anniversary tour, visiting elementary schools. Uh, it's going to visit 40 communities around the province, doing our floorball demonstration, promoting the World Junior Hockey Championships and really promoting the game of ice hockey. We want to grow the game, so we want to find different ways to introduce people to the game, have them participate in the game. The, the culmination of the event here was to wish Team Canada well. And uh, we're doing that uh, throughout the tour that, that's taking place. So at the, uh, at the outset of, uh, of the World Junior Hockey Championships, essentially the entire province of British Columbia is gonna get the opportunity to wish Canada well and, and go Canada go. Yeah. Hello? Hi, Noah. Hi, how's it going? Not too bad, yourself? Pretty good. Right on. Hey Noah, this is uh, Sean Bullock from Hockey Canada. Just uh, wanted to give you a call and um, extend an invitation to our National Junior uh, Team Selection Camp coming up. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. Perfect. You're good with that? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Good afternoon, Sean speaking. Hi, Sean. It's Shane Bowers. Shane, how are you, my friend? Awesome. Yeah, you guys, did you guys have a 0-0 game this weekend? Yeah, 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> Well, hey, uh, Shane, the reason I'm calling is uh, we'd like to uh, offer you an invitation to our uh, uh, National Junior Team Selection Camp. Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll have to say I'd love to accept that one. <laughs> Fantastic. Votre appel a été transféré à un système de traitement de la voix. Maxime, call toi. N'est pas disponible. This could be, uh, could be the same for <laughs> every kid's not going to answer this phone. Hi, Alex. Yeah. Sean Bullock from Hockey Canada. How are you? Good, you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, uh, Alex, just calling to um, invite you to the World Junior Selection Camp coming up uh, for our national junior team. Oh, my God. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're okay? You accept the invitation? Yeah, <laughs> I'm perfect, yeah. <laughs> okay, buddy. Well, hey, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. So just in early December, 34 prospects arrive in Victoria, BC, hoping to secure one of 22 spots on the final roster for Canada's national junior team. Coming into Victoria, I I'm basically had to always work for everything I've uh, been given in my life, and you know, coming to this camp is, is no different. I knew that my spot still had to be earned, and I came in here. Um, more of a business mentality that I had to, you know, be my best and, and prove to them I deserve to be here. Yeah, I'm most excited for, you know, bonding and creating another team that can hopefully bring home another championship, you know, just getting a chance to be a leader on that team, hopefully. And I think the huge thing uh, going into a tournament like this is just communicating, um, especially being from three different leagues. You might not play with uh, a lot of these guys. So uh, the more you talk, the more you joke around, the more you have fun, um, more loosen up and the chemistry becomes tighter. I think the best thing uh, we can do as a team is to, to bond together and come close together. So I think for, for tournaments like this, I think it's the teams who come together the quickest that usually have the most success. You know, I talked to uh, Alex a lot about it. I think he said that was a big reason why they had so much success is that they came together quickly and uh, you know, embraced all the roles that they had. Well, that's a coach's dream to have six number one lines and uh, six pairs of number one and two defensemen and three number one goalies. So. At this camp, some new faces are present, including undrafted Brett Leeson and 17-year-old Alexi Lafreniere. When I got the call for a selection camp, I was uh, really excited. Obviously, it's a, it's a dream come true. Growing up, you always watch uh, World Juniors and uh, to be invited uh, Really unreal for me, and uh, I think that I was uh, I was really excited. 
Some of the guys uh, made the NHL and we got some, some players back from their NHL teams and some players made their teams and we're not going to get them back, which is unfortunate, but uh, we got great players in Canada, so we're not worried about that stuff. I don't look at, you know, where they're from, where they've been drafted to and how high or how low they've been drafted. I look at their skill set. I have to deal with what I have in front of me and, and that's build the best team, build the best chemistry amongst our group build a family with our group. Guys have grown up together. They know each other since they're 16 years old. So that really helps. And then, you know, we pick good people. We don't want uh, uh, someone coming in that's not gonna fit. And we make sure that when we select a player to come to our selection camp, he's gonna be a good fit personality-wise and hockey-wise. If you give him time, we're not giving anybody any time. And that's part of the whole mantra of playing fast and thinking the game fast. It's about puck pressure. Have four lines play and play. Um, it's just we don't have two and two. We'll play two and a half lines. Everyone will play and everyone will puck pressure. Okay. So it's all that mindset. Just keep that in your mind. Everything's fast. Everything's quick. After a day of practice, Canada plays three games in three nights versus an all-star team from Canada's University League, U-Sport. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't know much about the U-Sports hockey and they're kind of surprised that we're not only keeping up, but we're excelling as far as the team so far. So, um, but we're, we're pushing Team Canada as a, as a group entirely and I think we're really making sure they're choosing the right players. Good team, fast, and they, they were good defensively. And I think that, that uh, that's good for us because as a, as a team, we get better and uh, we, we work through uh, adversity. Midway through a tight checking first period, Jack Studnika breaks in to score his first of two goals in the game, building on a strong performance in Kamloops. We're not, we're not trying to hurt these guys or anything like that, but we're also trying to prepare these guys for a tournament that they're heading to because it's, it's one of the highest stages of hockey you can play at between those age groups. So um, I know as a, as a team here, we're, we're doing our very best to push them and I think we're doing a great job. Alex Formanton's performance stands out in regulation. After the game goes to overtime, Formanton breaks down the wing and collides with a U-Sport defenseman. Everyone saw the play there right at the end of the game in overtime. Um, uh, right now, we're just uh, you know looking at Alex. Uh, obviously, we got an outstanding medical team here, um, looking into the situation. Uh, probably further assessment again tomorrow before we know a lot here, guys. Tonight, um, obviously, Alex being a returning player, uh, key guy for us. Um, so we're obviously looking uh, for the best here, but. Hopefully he's okay. Um, really don't know much right now, but um, you know he's definitely a leader on this team, and uh, you know guys definitely look up for him. So hopefully uh, you know it's not, it's not too serious, and uh, he'll be back. These games are meant to for two reasons: to evaluate you guys, and then also teach you how hard it's going to be to play if you do play on this team. That's why we play against those guys. They're better than any country's junior team we're going to play. Okay, we have to get past that level to get in the medal round. Okay, so the hockey you play with your club team, everything's got to ratchet up a notch. You guys play a few hundred foot game. Make it hard on them. Making purposeful plays over there. Those little redirects don't work. 
These guys are smart. They're choking us off. They're playing hard. They got good sticks. They climb above. They, they do all the things we're asking you guys to do. This is, this is where you dig in and learn how to play hard. Because it's going to get hard right here. It's not uh, what we're used to playing. These are very good hockey players. It's, it's good for our team just to, to just to measure how ready we are right now, but it's gonna help us in the long run. They did a really good job to, to make it difficult on us. Yeah, a good way to evaluate us and we're playing stronger guys. I think we did a pretty good job overall. This is a team that, that can play. This is a good AHL team. It was a good challenge for us. If I have to compare it to anything, it'd probably be an AHL style game. Playing stronger, faster guys. First game was kind of just getting a feel for each other, and then second game I felt like we did really good, created chances. Then again, you're playing with nerves too because it's trouts. Each game against U Sport ends with five rounds of penalty shots in case of a shootout in elimination games at the tournament. Yeah, stop the puck is my strategy. <laughs> I think uh, I think that's the best strategy to stop the puck. With Team Canada, we've, unfortunately, we, we've lost some big games uh, in the shootout. So right now, we're just trying to get prepared and we want our guys to be ready and uh, be able to, to win us a gold medal when needed. After the third game, Canada narrows its roster, releasing 10 players. Two extra forwards are kept due to the uncertain status of injured Gabriel Velarde and Alex Formanton. Good uh, setup, getting ready for our first game. Uh, just want to kind of summarize what we've gone through in practice last, last couple days, four check tracking. Okay, we'll do the wing lock. Uh, Laffy, wing lock. Hey. <laughs> Is it the neutral zone? Yeah. Neutral zone wing lock, yeah. Neutral zone, you got it, bud. Yeah, sounds like it. You need help get that off there? <laughs> now you talk to the guys like you're a coach. Okay, so they'll have their D. <laughs> Pretty darn good. And I'm sure glad stay up here. I'm sure glad you know this stuff, because you're now on the team. Excited to get to this point. Congratulations. Uh, this is the group that we have moving forward here. Um, been a lot of work coming up until this point. Um, and one thing that I'll say is you guys are here for a reason because your individual ability. From now on, if there's any success, it's going to be as a team. Now it's about checking your egos at the door, okay? Embracing the roles you'll get. And then everything now is exemplified by the Canadian way, okay? <clears throat> we're gonna get to know you better, and the better we get to know each other, the better we're gonna play together, okay? And the better team we're gonna be. But it's about family. And think about your own family as well, why you're here, why you play, okay? So congratulations, I'm thrilled to coach you. I'm looking forward to this. One of our, our teammates, one of our gold medalists from last year's World Junior Championship. Uh, we did everything we could to um, look into Alex's situation medically. And uh, unfortunately, Alex, uh, his injury, his timeline for recovery is too short. Uh, unfortunately, he won't be uh, able to uh, be your teammate this year through the tournament. He, we've offered to have Alex stay with us through dinner tonight and uh, be uh, with us at breakfast tomorrow, and then he's going to head back home uh, for, to start his uh, assessment and treatment back home. So, Alex, did you have any words to, for the guys? Or? Yeah, just uh, like Hansi said, just uh, embrace your role. You know, you might not be playing the same role as your junior team, and maybe you haven't played the, uh, this role ever before, so I'm uh, just taking a run with it. And I think just, uh, you know, having that gold medal last year, 
um, going back on things that why we were successful it was just everyone buying into the program I think we had everyone um, you know on the same right mindset and, um, you know just buying in uh, I mean another successful thing that I think was just you know having a, a tight team you know get to know get to know the rest of the players and um, you know we built a lot of chemistry throughout the tournament and I think that uh, definitely helped us in the long run.